hey folks we're here uh it's uh 703 a tiny bit late uh but that's because i was filming earlier too and i'm kind of burning the candle at both ends today because i'm a slacker and today uh i'm gonna be playing on ginger fist in the group instead of nexi why because i'm insane and I have a lot of alts, and I just want to play Ginger Fist. And look, Ginger Fist is back in, the, like, the Boo's fighting sports bra look. Because, uh, Tier 2, and uh, Tier 1 also, uh, House of Thule Armor, uh, Monk Only, has that look. It has that, that graphic. The same with the pants. So it, lo it looks like the Woo's stuff. And I'm, I'm so happy that they, they brought that look back for the monks uh for this particular armor and uh, i plan on getting getting more i still need to get tier two arms uh for ginger fist but i did upgrade a lot of their gear they've got some decent jewelry and shoulders and all that stuff and weapons so here we go also if anybody watching in the guild you know uh, you want to check this out if you're level 85 plus right and your your jewelry is kind of crappy take a quick look at what ginger fist is wearing compartmented temperite trio pendant uh, for level 85 to 90 and you could see the stats here uh, I could make the stats a little different too like um, depending on what kind of gems and stuff I put in there. So the the Mirage Stone is what gives it most of the stats, and it's for level, it, you got to be 85 plus to, to have that in your jewelry. So, But, you know, it's got heroic stats, it's got attack and hit point regen, mana regen, all that good stuff. So if your jewelry is really bad, like... Like it's only got like 500 hit points in mana or something and you want something and you've reached 85 let me know i can make some for your character with my enchanter so there so what do you guys want to do it looks like we are shorthanded a little bit and i'm gonna see here i think i'm actually a level up on everybody so uh, I can pull out a tank, a gnome tank, and uh, somebody else can maybe have a healer uh, ready or something if we don't get anybody else to join. Mm, let me see. I may just have a tank right now. Um, well, it could be a healer. Yeah, anybody in the group that has a healer, they can pull out like a cleric merc. Um, you still have to invite Gen X, don't you? Is Gen Xers not in the group yet? I sent Gen Xer an invite, I thought. I'm out of zoned. Okay. Well, then, no. then we got to put that healer away and we got to go with yeah. Blubber Belly. Or. Um, Or we can use Presto to tank. Yeah, use Presto to tank. And I'll get a gnome healer, a gnome cleric, as soon as we can. So, so sending Genexer an invite. I could have sworn I, I sent everybody an invite. All right, there we go. All right, so everybody's in now. Um, I think so. Okay, and I do have, I do have the healer up now. Okay. So, what did you guys feel like doing? Did you want to do a couple of gribbles real quick, like we've been doing, just for the massive XP? Or do you want to just go do house uh, for a bit? 
Well, oh, I, I would suggest the, the first two gribbles because they're really fast, just so we don't get lapped by Sunday group. Right. And then go do house because house is fun. Yeah, I uh, really some, like house. Somebody mentioned Broken Mirror, but I don't know enough about that to lead anything. Well, the, that was uh, that was me. So, like, if you want to get levels super fast in 15 minutes, I can probably get you 50 or 60%. Um, that would be something new. It would be something fun to show the audience. And I know it sounds insane coming from my mouth because I'm usually like, no, that means change. We don't like change. But let's do that. Especially because yeah, I saw your video and it looked very yeah. quick. And as long as we all follow your lead, I think we can do it. It's not a fighting thing. It's just a running around thing, which to me is usually very dull. But with as quick as it is and as much XP you get, I'd say maybe pop our lessons when we finish it and we might get even more than 50%, right? I think so. I think, it, I mean, it'd be worth it. It'd be worth this shot. I mean, I've already done it. So I'll just be like running around showing you guys where to go. But right. it'd be interesting to see what happens. Because my 75, like in the, like my 100 got 4%, which is pretty good for 100 and then 75 got an entire level out of it. Right. So so yeah. let's do that. Where do we go? Let's head to Plain of Tranquility. Okay. Let's go to Pot. I'm sure Hippie's all about that because we're going to Pot. And I know I haven't looked at chat at all yet. I'm very sorry. I will have that back. I'll have that up in a second. I, I haven't forgot about chat. I'm just trying to get everything sorted. Okay, clicking on the Tranquility Stone. Um, and I'm putting chat up here so I can pay attention. So sorry about that, guys. Holy cats, you guys have been talking a lot. And I hadn't seen a single thing yet. So give me a sec. Maybe before we actually start the quest, give me a sec. I'm just going to read the whole chat. So, from the top, DJ Bird said, hey, MMO Hippie said, hello, hello. Uh, Z-Man said, good luck tonight. And Hippie said, hello, Z-Man. Uh, Z-Man said, hand pink waving. Uh, Tavik said, hi, all. MMO said, hi, Tavik. Ben said, howdy, howdy, all. And Hippie said, howdy, Ben. Everybody's just saying howdy to each other. So really, nobody's addressed me at all, which is fine. I don't feel so guilty uh, for not reading the chat. And I, I kind of love this, guys. I kind of love that you're all saying hi to each other. It really is a community. Thank you. Um, and uh, Hippie said, hey, Kevro, happy 420 Eve. Um... Superfly Todd said, hey, gang, is it Fez O'Clock already? <laughs> said Grando. Yes, it is. Uh, and Hippie said, hey, Superfly. Superfly said, hey, Hippie. Uh, that it is Grando. You guys already got lapped by Sunday Group. Uh, TBM. Uh, I'm not sure what TBM means, uh, DJ Bird. Feel free to break that down for me. I'm terrible at knowing what the, the uh, broken mirror it's yep okay um eternal rogue said evening fez hello eternal rogue bear said hey hi fez and gang a way to go fez trying a uh, new wahoo <laughs> uh hey bear hi hippie i got a d dita eq is just a looks like a little person waving uh emoji and eternal rogue you forgot about twitch chat you uh you were addressed no i i have uh twitch chat here too it's all together on the same streaming chat window i have so <coughs> i am addressing the twitch chatters you guys are 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 some of the best so i i'd never forget about twitch chat anymore 
especially now with my second monitor. We have one monitor, yes, but what about second monitor? Okay, so where to now? All right, come on out the main door. Okay. And we're heading uh, south. All right, heading south. I'm going to introduce you to a goddess. Woohoo! In, in fact, she may be your goddess. Um, I might be agnostic. Yes, I am. Oh, ye of little faith. Yes. All right. So are you with me in this building? Yes. All right. So you're going to come into this building, into this room, and you see Quilius is right there. Is that is that like a little gnome or just a tiny person? I think she's a gnome and it makes me happy. Right, same. So we got a group task. Yay! All right, so we got into the temple. Everybody got it? Yep. Yes, have it. Sorry to, sorry to burst your bubble, but I think she looks like an elven child. Shh. It's a gnome and I'll sorry. have no more talk. It's All a, right, back out the door. It's a gnome. Okay. Keep your fantasy. It's it's a gnome woman. Okay. All right. Has anybody been to the plane of health before? Yes. No. All right. So you're going to, uh, we're going to just kind of go around the perimeter of this wall outside. You may have to swim if you don't have lev on. Fortunately, I do. I think that's thanks to Blubber Belly. Here, whoop. Went too far. Back up. Okay. In between the buildings and turn right. And you see the crystal? Yep. There we go. So that's what this is. Okay. So we just click on it. Should. Okay. Yep. Zoning in. Uh... If you're a gnome and don't have lev, that's a it's a pain in the butt to click that crystal. Right, right. So if anybody needs lev, just say something. I'm sure uh, Blubber Belly can give you flight of the eagles. Yep, lev would be really good right here too. Uh, the MMO so, hippie, right. you guys. Uh, oh, we can't forget you guys. Just haven't gotten over to the Twitch yet. Hello, all. Uh, woot, uh, T, TBM, that's fun. Uh, what was the name of the quest? The name of the quest is Into the Temple, right? Into the Temple. So, all right, I'm all set. Which way now? All right, and so we're gonna head to the northwest part of the zone. We're looking for uh, Solvius Demi Plane of Life. And this is where Lev comes in real handy. Okay, I'm just going to follow amazement. A lot of the missions, or some of the missions, take place in this zone too, so you'll get instances of this. And, um, in fact, the one in defense of health is in this zone, and it uh, it drops the earring that I've got on, which at 82 gives you a level 86 pet. So it's nice that nothing aggro's here. Yeah. That's one thing I've noticed. Imagine the plane of health being bad for your health. Right. So yeah, thank you for posting the video about this too, because after watching it and seeing that it was pretty quick and short and the XP that you got from it, I was like, yes, yes, let's do that. That sounds great. Yep, so you go into that little crypt and you can click or run around and you'll eventually zone. Yeah, it just sucked me in. So, so yeah, chat, I'm playing my monk tonight instead of the Beast Lord uh, because I thought it would be fun for a change. And if I really, really like it and no one has an issue with me switching, 
I might just make it permanent. Uh, but if everybody's like, no, you suck as a monk, please don't ever do that again. Um, we we want the Beast Lord, and I'll switch. Because I'm accommodating that way. Okay. All right, you want to come up the ramp here, from, and then we're going to come around to the main building. You'll see these two double doors here. We'll go through there. And straight back. Well, isn't this just a lovely little town? It's got it's like the plane of life. It's got like Halloween Town vibes, though. Like Tim Burton. Yeah. Look, the very, very much Tim Burton. This is Tim Burton's zone, man. It's like Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. Yeah. Day, day of the Dead. The, the Dia del Muerto. The yeah. Day of the Dead. So. So in this this back room, where you guys see where I am. This yeah. is Mayor West, and he's one of the quest givers, but okay. uh, one person needs to hail him and choose a Nashti soul. Okay. If, if I was uh, doing a video about this, I would so be tossing up a Family Guy uh, meme right about now, but... Yeah, yeah, I, I mentioned it, but I yeah. didn't take the time to put a clip in. So, all right, and that's all there was to that one. So now we go back to the plane of hell. Okay. Because we did that, we can do the next one. And that's where we're going to get the big XP. I want to make a video just exploring this zone, just walking around, not trying to do quests or killing anything. It's just fantastic. <laughs> okay, clicking the crystal, right? All right. Ben Wells, I have a short drive from work. I plug the phone into my Jeep and listen while I drive home. Good to hear Fez and company uh, sound like you're all in a good mood today. Yeah, we're doing great. And and Ben Wells, please, 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 please be super careful. Like, if you're listening, that's fine. Just don't take your eyes off the road for a second. I don't want anything happening to anybody. Our our streams or you could always watch it the video later so so we're heading right back to the center where we're going to find our next quest person okay um these little pagodas that we're passing that's where our next hails are going to happen there's a whole circuit of them that are kind of a in this outer ring here cool and uh, we'll just kind of run around in a circle and hail and then get a bunch of XP. I hope it's a bunch. We'll see at 84. Right. Well, my, my monk is 85, so we'll see what happens. I, I, I also, if I have lessons available, I'll trigger that. Oop, I, got yeah, I, may have gone the, I may have gone the long way here. I, I, I got stuck on a, on the cliff there for a sec. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, gnomes can't be uh, monks. So we hail Nilu. Nilo is going to be our next guy. Okay. Oh wait, do I do we remove the joined quest the the group task? You probably can. I don't know that it matters. I think it disappears, but um it won't hurt to get rid of it. Okay, because it's done, right? So Yep, that's it. All right. And then somebody want to hail him. Seal of approval. That's the one. All right. So we got that. And then what do we do? We have to individually do it because I didn't get it. Oh, maybe we all have to hail to get that one. Maybe. Maybe it's an individual task that's timed. 
Yeah, I just picked it up, and it's repeatable apparently, but I don't think you'll get the same XP on the second round. Right, it could be that it's an achievement that gives you all that XP. Um, Granda said, I'm in a terrible mood. <laughs> I start stomping gnomes any minute. Uh, Kevra said, I think I did this around level 82 uh, on my squad, and it was still decent XP. Uh, Hippie said, Ben, please drive... Uh, please be careful driving. Uh, we will still be there when you get home. Um, and Superfly, who posted the video, uh, Hippie said Zorgo. So yeah, there's a video of it. I think it's you posted it in the Friday group uh, thread of the chat, right? I did, and it's on uh, on my channel as well. Okay. Yeah, so subscribe to Zorgo and check it out in the Friday group thread. You'll see it. It's uh, and he explains it all. If you want to do it on your own, so where is everybody uh, at now? Okay, I see. Okay, you. so um, so I'm heading towards Sarah Eggers. I think she might be the closest one. Okay. Do you guys see her on? Your is everybody ready? App? Wait. Um, I thought Blubberbelly was still back there. Oops. I'll wait. You, up. you ready, yeah, guys? Gen Xer. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. So we're all heading um, this way? Yep, uh, due west, and we're heading towards Sarah Eggers. Yeah. So if you've got brules or um, goods, then you'll see the NPCs that we need to hail. Um, Gen X are still behind, so maybe you can you call of hero him when we get there? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Oh, thanks. I saw everybody leave, and then they kind of disappeared from my screen. So, Yeah, and that's cool. We'll uh, call a hero you so you can be sure to hail the guy. And maybe if you have a mount, hop on a mount so you can keep up. Okay. Wait, who am I, who am I getting? Gen Xer. Got it. Hey, Fez, you're spamming uh, language nonsense in group. Did you want to do that or switch it to a language I don't know? Um, I mean, I could, I could switch it to a language nobody knows, so that way it helps. It's actually useful. Um, let's, let's see if there's a language I don't really know either that much. Uh, we could learn, uh, Uridin, Froglock. Ooh, let's learn Gnomish. I suck at Gnomish right now. So I can... Hail Eggers. Yep, so just hail her. Okay. And then we're just going to kind of go clockwise to the next pagoda and get Gabriel Corvallis. Okay, I still need to hail them. Okay, and the Sarah here. Okay. Okay, I got it. Thank you. What the hail are we doing? <laughs> Hailing people. <laughs> hail, hail if I know. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys know what happens if you uh, cross an elephant and a rhinoceros? What? Elephino. Uh, 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 uh. Wah, wah. That's pretty funny. So Gabriel. Hail. Okay. On to Trina. Is everybody ready? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Ooh, it's a monkey. Let's go spank him. They bite. <laughs> I just I just wanted to say that. That's that's about it. <laughs> All right, hailed Trina. Maybe wait a sec for everybody. Yep. Okay. All right. Cl Clara Overton next, down south. A superfly subbed to Zorgo. Okay, cool. Oh, sweet. Uh, it's, it's pretty. Sorry, go ahead. I was, 
I was just going to say, it's pretty amateur. Like, the older stuff is really bad. Um, and I only do it when on a very rare occasion that I have time to do it. Well, you've seen my videos, so they're pretty bad. <laughs> Especially my oldest stuff. And and Bear also subbed, so you got a few subs out of that. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, guys. Uh, Tyndall, who's going to be south again, southwest, and then west. It's so much easier to do these when... You don't need to think or really look and just follow one person. <laughs> Tyndall. It sounds like I should swipe left on him. Yep, the next one is kind of north and then kind of around a corner. It's Mance Randerson. So we'll turn left up here. Tyndall is like a, a mashup between Tinder and a Kindle, I guess. I don't know. It's Amazon's dating service. All right. Hailed. I'm guessing that mob was named after Mance Raider in Game of Thrones. Mance Randerson, maybe. All right. So back to Nilo. Let us know when we should pop lessons. Uh, before you hail them. Yeah, yeah. So, like, it's it's this guy that gives the biggest chunk of XP? He's the one. Okay. Does lessons it? work on achievement XP? I don't know. But, I mean, it wouldn't hurt. We could do a Gribbles right after and maybe still be good, right? Right, right. Yeah, see, that's the thing. It's kind of a run to the Gribbles, so... It might not, but I'm willing to risk it, especially maybe I'll do it first because it, this is individual quest, right? So if you want, yeah. I'll be the guinea pig and see if it does anything before anybody else pops theirs because it's just for individuals. Uh, and that way you could see whether or not you, cause I'm ahead anyway, at I'm 70% into 85. So, okay. I'm going to pop my lessons. This is our sign for science for science. Okay. I got my lessons up and I'm going to hail them. It didn't really show how much XP. Yeah. Give it a sec. Okay. Okay. Here's you the should get a window and then make sure you got it on XP when you click it. So there's the glyph of experience. That's what you, um, I don't think you want the glyph of experience. Uh, the ex, just regular experience. Okay. And for AA points. Okay. Selecting. I got, you gain 19.864% uh, XP. So I don't know if that oh, was. That's not that bad. I mean, that's not, a, not as good. Wow. It really scales down. Yeah, so at 85, that's what I got. I uh, I don't know if it made a difference or not. But it's That's about a gribbles, isn't it? So maybe wait for the gribbles to do lessons, I don't know. Do whatever you guys feel. Well, if the next person doesn't do lesson and they get 19%, we'll know that it doesn't. I got 21% and I did lessons. Okay. Oh. And I dinged. Congrats. Nice. So nice. how do we get back to POK? Um, see the crystal above the throne right behind us? That okay. takes us POT. Okay. Tranquility. We also have a druid. You beg your druid. That's how you get out of here. Okay. So druid want to port us or do we want to hit the crystal? Druid. Are you... So we'll get to POK, 
We'll all run to the stone uh, and go straight for the gribbles. Oh, Billy Lamb, howdy. That was an interesting button in that bathroom, Fez. Yes, it was. Obviously, I did a little bit of editing because I could not play the original, put the original on YouTube because of copyright. Um, the original song was actually uh, Party in the USA. So I took some creative liberty and uh, added my own music. But you still get the gist of what, what it is. It's, it's a, a bathroom with a button. The lights go out when you press it. And it's like you're in a disco. So run to Gulf of Guntak and then to Gribbles? Yep. And, and you just got to watch out because, you know, there's always a, a, a gimp hiding behind the door. Uh, threatening to give you a good time. <laughs> uh, DJ Bird also subbed to Zorgo. Awesome. Sweet. Thank you. We get a whole network of people subbing to each other. So one thing that like you'll see in the video that I posted is that at 75, I got like 90 something. Blubber, wait, wait, can I get an invis real quick? I can't invis. Yeah, I got a group in. invis ready to go once everybody's in here. Okay. I think everyone's here. So yeah, group invis. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just really wanted to get an invis. Just in case there's a lobby there, you know? But what were you saying? Oh, I was just going to say, like in the video I posted, you can uh, see that my level 75 got something in the neighborhood of 90 or 95%. Yeah, yeah. From that same thing. I mean, still, even at 85, that was pretty good XP. I did it with Blubber Belly at 76, and it gave me 97%. Nice. That's crazy. Yeah, at 83 without less than on, I got 26%. So I guess lessons didn't seem to matter too much. If, if you're, you said you're 83, and you did it without lessons on. Right. And you got more than we did. I'm starting to think that maybe the lessons didn't matter. That was the impression I had. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's good. It's good to know that for the future. I would have thought that it would have still had an effect, an impact. Yeah, look at all these guys, all these... Uh, Drog, Drogmore is running back and forth. Somebody went through here without invis. I was tempted to kill that Lugald with the shield, but I'm like, nah, dude, it's like a level 30 shield or something. I'm not gonna... I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just uh, Leroy Jenkins right to the... the uh... Yeah. I mean, nothing oh, here can kill us, I but... I got I yeah, worry. Invis dropped. I worry about training somebody. Just upgraded all my armor to 85 uh, while we're running. Speaking of, I can do Overseer on this character. So I'm going to grab my rewards while I still have lessons on. Has anybody ever 
like seeing if lessons uh really makes a difference on xp rewards on overseer or not because it seems to make a difference but i'm not completely sure i think it does um my other all just dinged 112 and he was at 25 percent into 111 so like a few weeks he just dinged up so it's pretty good Overseer gets me a little over 5% each day. I just realized something. Um, I, I'm not going to be in the uh, fellowship. And I think Nexi's the leader. <laughs> Oops. Whoops. But you guys feel free to set a fire up uh, just because if there's a wipe. We can reform the but, fellowship. It takes only. But do you have the healer? Oh, well, we, you'll take a druid. You can take a druid, I guess. Yeah, yeah there's I'll a like there is a druid. Time. I mean, a druid res. If yeah. You... Uh, yeah, we everybody if if we want, everybody could just leave that fellowship and we'd start a new one. I'm cool with that, too. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we'll start a new one. Yeah, that old fellowship was lame. <laughs> <laughs> do we have to bring up a window to do it manually? All right, so Control Shift F. Oh, let me get the let me let's start the gribbles here too, because uh, always takes a minute to spool up anyway. Willing, leave. Oh. All right, I left. Why is the thing not working? You're still in a in a uh, task, right? Oh. No, I'm not. Weird. Um, is everybody else out of a task? Try it again. I still had an end to the temple. Okay. Um, creating a thing. Sending invites to the new. Let me know if you didn't get an invite. Okay, I see it now. Into the hills, accept. Okay, we got it. I'll set up a campfire right here. For some reason, I'm not able to leave the old fellowship. I click on leave and it doesn't leave. Oh, wait, there's a window that popped up. Yeah, sometimes it just takes a second. Okay, so I'm going to send an invite again to Gen Xer. Thank you. Thank you. And it should, you should, did you get it? Yes. I'm in. Okay, five of us. Everybody, uh, I think we're ready to start the gribbles too. I'm just speeding through everything. Uh, ben, don't worry, Fez. My phone is put away while driving. I'm unable to access my phone while driving, so I literally just listen. Okay, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. I just don't want to lose any more friends. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move up to spawn the, the skeletons. Okay, stage completed. Now, the only thing I don't know is how to pacify these guys, and I think it might be the distract. Uh, I can do pulling if you want. Um, Unless you want to try your distract. I, I can I can pull. I mean that's one of the things about being a a, a monk is pulling. Um, I even did this. I have like a uh, my feign death linked to one of my mouse buttons, so I can feign death extra quick uh, if needed. 
Um, does anybody want to be main looter? So everybody just stay back from me a little bit. If for some reason I get a bunch, I'll feign death. But turn up the game sound a little bit guys let me know in the chat if the game sound is good or too high or still like way too low okay maybe here pacify would be good if you want to pacify that left one or the right one either one of these okay pulling there's just too many. Careful. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, guys, attack that one. Help our enchanter. There we go. At least we only got two now. So that, that kind of worked. If you mark yourselves as puller, then your work will follow you. Right. Yeah. Right, let's do that too. Mark me as tank too, maybe. Um, amazement, right? Yep. Okay, I'm going to remove the levitate now just because I like to be close to the ground for melee. I'll just hurl a fang at this guy and... That worked. Yeah, thanks, Hippie. We got it. <laughs> that was yeah, a good idea. Okay. Pulling. Yeah, I figured, you know, it's it's time that I learn how to pull a little better. I don't really love pulling, but in a group, it could be fun. Who knows? Okay, if you want to pacify one of these two zombies. Okay, pulling. There's a lot less standing around on raids if you're pulling. Yeah, yeah. That is true. So if anybody occasionally sees something that looks like it might be important in the loot, if nobody wants to be main looter, just, just poke at me and say, hey, look at the loot. Maybe we could pacify one of these guys. All right, you're already on it. Thank you. Pulling. I don't know if we'll finish this in time to get the uh, advantage from the lessons, but that's okay. Uh, 
Okay. Pulling the thirsty pirate. Oh, not thirsty, bloodthirsty. I just figured she was thirsty with that outfit. But look who's You're talking. You're one to talk. Right. <laughs> I think you misspelled ginger. Uh, isn't that F supposed to be a T, and isn't the S and the T supposed to be reversed? What? Ginger fist. <laughs> Never mind. Don't don't question my spelling because I'm already questioning it half the time. So I'm not gonna get the joke. I'm just gonna think you're I, being. I was, a... I was, yeah, no, I was trying to make a j joke that would have. Uh, got you demonetized okay yeah so so let's let's be glad i didn't get it <laughs> all right another thirsty pirate it's like if you get surrounded by a bunch of thirsty Pirates, is that like a thirst trap? I sent you a tell us what I was thinking. <laughs> okay. I might have to look at that off chat though. <laughs> it's like, not that bad. Okay. Well, PG 13. I, I, okay. Uh, okay, Picard's, uh, good. Pulling. Another thirsty pirate. So thirsty. Okay, grabbing Picard. If somebody's out of mana or anything like that, please do say something cuz of course I'm not going to I'm not going to know what mana is anymore now that I'm just a monk. Wait, we have no more paragon. Right. What? Yeah, no more Beast Lord with Paragon. Unless somebody else ends up showing up playing a Beast Lord. No more casting with Abandon? Right. I also like hugging trees. So. I mean, but again, I, like I said, I don't know. I could end up getting bored of Ginger and, and wanting to be Nexi again. But if I do, I will take it upon myself to... Uh, catch up in levels or whatever. I'll probably try to keep Nexi caught up. Yeah, I'm just giving you a hard time. I love monks. Do you need to loot the books fast in order to throw them in the yes, fire? Yes, I do. Thank you. Sure. We, we definitely need to loot whatever just so we don't end up not... Uh, well, that's a tome, so I will... No, I, didn't, I didn't know what their name was. I don't think there's any looting for this mission. Oh, okay. Just collectible. The, the tome is something we roll on. Um, let me see, is this for Shadow, Shadow Knights? Knights? Yeah, so greed roll, since we don't have one. And, and greed on the fish, because I think that's a collectible. Okay, you guys can move up a little bit to me. Pulling this thirsty. Um. Oh, 
Eternal Rogue said, in effect, okay. No, yeah, ginger boobs wouldn't really get me uh, demonetized. I thought it was going to be something a lot worse. Oh, I, oh, yeah, no. I was thinking, yeah, well, a different, yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the other iteration of it. There you go, see? Okay. Yes. You spelled fist wrong, it's spelled with a T. Right. The S and the T. Swap the, the S and the T. Okay, that is, yeah, that's funny. And it's it's still not that bad, really. I think we could get away with saying that and not have a problem. Well, part of it is my nine-year-olds are running around my feet too right now. I mean, at least no one said Ginger Minge, but that would have that would have been really bad. If someone said that out loud just now. <laughs> Um, I have a 62 Beast Lord on Front of I. Uh, the Friday group does have an opening, if anyone's interested. Um, I got a 70 Shaman. Well, um, I believe Ben does want to rejoin the Friday group. I believe. Um... I thought he might join us tonight, but it could be too that he was busy tonight. But anytime the, there is an opening, uh, every, anybody's welcome to join. Just have a character lying around at a close level, you know, somewhere around 85-ish. I do like that... Uh, Phantom dart thingy that we use to pull. The uh, the bard has that too. It's awesome. It doesn't do enough damage to get uh, summoned. Incoming. You want us to move up, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, right here is good, probably. I'll pull to here. Having a little bit of space is good in case I screw up. I can trigger that. Uh, feign death. Is your med skill up? My, I don't, I don't know what that is or where. It, I don't know if it's a... Uh, a combat ability or what? Because I haven't been able to find it yet. It's a regular skill like fishing. Like fishing? Yeah, like yeah, you, you mend, yeah. Yeah, it's just like faint death. It's a regular skill. You no, no, like... no. I thought you meant mez. Oh no, no mend. Okay, no, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. No mend, I have. Like okay, so if you want to target my target, there you go. Yeah, left one is. And I will pull this guy. Good job. Yeah, see, I am aware of Mend. I'm aware of uh, Feign Death, Mend, uh, all the other typical skills that we get. Um, you know, all the different kicks and stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna Leroy Jenkins this one, so just send in everything to attack. Presto's having a hard time keeping aggro off of you. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, I know, it's just like really good at DPS. I will, I will try to feign death a little more often. Oh, I don't care. Yeah, I've got a I've got a button that triggers feign death that also gets up right away and continues attacking. Uh, oh, hang on, we got a pather. Both are calmed. Just do the left one. Okay, I'll do the left one. Incoming. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know if uh, using my two-hander will help. Um, if it'll do more or less DPS. I figure fewer hits incoming. Generally, I think the like the one-handed are going to do more DPS. But yeah, which is why I thought eight. maybe I'll switch to one uh, to two-hander, um, so your pet can hold aggro better. I don't know. I mean, I think it's mostly up to our healer whether it's been any issue. Okay, I'm gonna pull this one. See, that works. I just had to feign death a little more and maybe just use a two-hander. It seems to be a little bit better. Um, but between Blubber Belly and the, the Cleric Mercenary, I think we're good. Yeah, I do too. Left the Sculpt. Alright, pull in. Four shining points of light. Oh yeah, let's check the, uh, oh, there's nothing in the loot window. I mean, fortunately, I did, I think, import a lot of, uh, Fez's loot filters, so stuff should be getting distributed. Hey, chat, I'm sorry, how's the sound, by the way? Is it, is the game sound at a good level where you could still hear us all talk? I think I asked that earlier, but I might have missed the chat about it. I'll pull the left one. I think it'll come alone. Yep. Incoming. Um, Billy Lamb, I like the sound where it is. Eternal Rogue said, I hear everyone. I can hear my game going. Okay, cool. Yeah, I just, I wanted to make sure. Let me actually uh, look here at the stream. <coughs> Video capture device. Okay, I think it should be good. Yeah, all right. Sorry. Gonna pull that one. You know, I'm almost wondering if I should make amazement main assist. Like, because if I pull too many, um, I won't, you know, you don't want to attack what, what I might be targeting. What do you guys think? I don't think we're going to get too many, but I don't mind. Okay. I'll make amazement main assist. I'll just stay polar. 
I think, okay, I'm gonna pull this uh, pather. The problem is, is I spend half of my time with my pet targeted. Okay. I could make Tosh. Um, well, because Tosh Ooh, that's will That's even worse. That's worse. I'm not going to be targeting all the ones we shouldn't be attacking. Exactly. Exactly. So it should be either, I guess, me since I'm uh, doing a lot or, or amazement. Yeah, just to, I, I'd say keep it on you for now, and if we run it end up with a problem, let's switch it. Okay, okay, put it back on me then. So just everybody pay attention. If it seems like you shouldn't be assisting me, then please, please don't. <laughs> and we did get a named this round, which kind of sucks because these guys could be so nasty. We're gonna destroy it. So I will probably set the. Uh, Cleric Merc to efficient um, during that boss fight. Not efficient, I'm sorry, reactive. And I would suggest amazement sort of stand the furthest away because. And maybe have a pet spell ready to cast a new one in case your pet's about to die. And I can tank the thing until you get a new pet up. Uh, because we, if you good. die, your pet dies and we're, we're done. So we definitely don't want you dying. So blubber belly, just keep your eye on amazement's health. Let me die before amazement. Because I no, can... No, no, nobody's going to die. We I'm, just, I'm just saying. Yeah, we, yeah. I'm just saying, if someone is gonna die, it should be me. I'm I'm disposable. All right, uh, pulling blood sucker. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it a little far from everybody, so you could just send in your pets and stuff. Okay, pulling. Yeah, I'm taking a potion because I'm a little bit wounded and I'm gonna setting the cleric to reactive because I had forgotten and maybe that's why I didn't get healed right away but they're probably mostly focusing on keeping that pet alive which is good I FD used, a little bit okay I, I used I used men's That did the trick. Yeah. I'll just periodically try to feign death. We got this. Doing great so far. Very pleased.
He stood no chance. Yep. So good. We just did so good. A lot of hit points on this thing. All right. These we got the deformed mandible for warrior, cleric, paladin, ranger, shadow knight, bard, rogue, shaman. Do we even have a single one of those classes? <laughs> That's crazy. No. <laughs> Not a single one. I mean, even if we, even I was playing Nexi, we still wouldn't have had. Hilarious. Okay, so it's just greed roll, everybody. What a bloodsucker. Right. Okay. Pull in. Good so far. Left two calm. Okay. I'm gonna go back to my one handers for a bit. Coming. Does anyone still have lessons up? I never hit it since I had already done that quest. Right. Same. Okay. Yeah, mine faded just a little bit ago. Task stage completed. Might as well just kill this last one. Yeah, that's right. This one we don't really need to loot anything. I still like to make sure, just in case... Uh, uh, Tomaters59 said howdy. Um, Rival said hello all. Healer Merc still on reactive. Yes, they are. So I guess let me set them back to balanced. Good call. Uh, thank you. So, hailing. Sprock nozzle. Look for any uh, shinies. There might be some. Head back and... Feel free to hit lessons if you guys want before the hail. Just let us know to wait if you're going to. I'm going to hit mine before. Okay. Should we do that third combat mission for a TBM, or is that too risky? I don't think it's too risky. I think we could do it. Um, but, it, I mean, there, there's a much higher chance of deaths. Uh, oh, yeah. And we don't have a real tank. I mean, uh, like a real tank. Yeah, next week, uh, next week, like he, like Fez is playing the monk. I'm, I'm, got an itch to maybe play my Shadow Knight or Warrior or Paladin. So um, I may come with a real tank next time. Yeah, whatever sounds good, we'll make it work. Okay, let me see. Let me hit lessons. Lesson. <laughs> so, if any anybody want to do lessons, I did. Just hit it. Okay. Anybody else? We good to go? Okay, silence means fine. So, hitting it. 26. 
And I dinged uh, 86. So let's head back and do the next one right away and hopefully that lessons will carry over. Um, Billy Lamb doing my part. Thank you. Oh, everybody jump out of the shared mission. As soon as you zone. And thank you, rival. Let me know when everybody's out of the mission. Still zoning. I'm out. All right. I'm out. All right. I'm out. Oh. All right. Doing scouting ahead next. Accept. We got it. It just takes a few seconds. And just tell him lead. DJ Bird said, Grats, thank you. You could do three gribbles if you're quick enough. I I don't think we have that kind of DPS. Um and, and we need mana for heals and things and I think you have to have a very specific kind of group uh, or, or be wearing raid gear or something I don't know I think I could pull a single mosquito uh, yep here everybody's gonna have to be on me about checking the loot uh, every two minutes or so or, or if you see stuff in the loot window so that silence is that we are all willing to make that risk <laughs> right left calm what the hell man why won't you let me pull two incoming Oh, no problem. All right. Yeah, we've got an Uber Enchanter with us. Much better than the Saturday Enchanter, I gotta say. <laughs> All right, breaking Mez. Better than the, the bar they used to have, from what I understand. Right. Yeah, I'm sure they would have uh, kicked that bard from the whole guild if they could have, but unfortunately that was the guild leader. So... <laughs> I think you were the only one who felt bad about playing that bard. I just... I, I couldn't keep stuff mezzed long enough. Um, and, and yeah, everybody's, you know... Everybody was like, fine, whatever, you know, whatever you, you enjoy. But at the same time, I'm like, I want to be useful, too. When did the when does the bird get the AOE mez? Pull right. Okay, pulling far right. Incoming. I'm not sure. I, I they may have already have it and I just am not great at checking my AAs often and seeing exactly what I have and what they do. Oh, MMO Hippie said, hey, Fez, check the loot. Thank you. Yeah. There's a, a rank two warrior tome. Okay, cool.
Oh, well, left. Pulling the left. Incoming. See, it's a team effort. Even even the chat is helping out. Uh, incoming. What I'm surprised at, if anybody's noticed, on our second mission, and maybe I'm speaking too soon, feel free to yell at me if I am, but so far I haven't seen anything, any stuck mobs that could not be attacked. So I don't know if that's something that they fixed. It was in the notes that they attempted to fix at it. They attempted to? Yeah. Well, it might have at least improved stuff because it seems better. Anybody else notice anything about that? Where the, you know, the mobs would be stuck, you'd have to move in order to be able to do damage to them. And now it seems to be a little bit better. Because I really hated that bug. It was just terrible. Yeah, when, uh, not last time, we, but not this time that we pulled fear, but the time before when I was pulling it, like, that's what the Amy's were getting stuck like that. It was real pain. Yeah, they. I think they called it a suspected fix. <laughs> they suspected it's the problem and uh, fixed it, but they're not sure. Right. Pull in. Incoming. I, I kind of like that description. I think I might start using that. What? <laughs> At my job, because I do the same thing. Yeah, I fix the software, so maybe I'll start using that word saying it's a suspected fix. Right. I suspect that I know what's wrong. So I will remedy what I think it is. Yeah, there you go. I'm not fixing the problem. I'm fixing what I think might be the problem. Right. It's it's all in the wording. All you've got to do is on the patch notes just say, this is what we did. You don't have to say whether it fixed anything or not. Right. You can just list the things you did. <laughs> right. Don't you hate it when you're, you're looking to fix a bug, and then you find another bug, and they're like, how? This is a real bug. I didn't. Nobody's yeah. reported it. Yeah, right. Oh, that's the worst. Well, they need to stop punishing people for reporting bugs and or exploits. Um, because as long as they, you know, try to ban someone or suspend someone's account or something, if they report a bug, nobody's going to report a bug. Well, I think that with a game this old, they just every time somebody reports a bug, they they're just imagining which piece of the Jenga puzzle they have to remove and so they stick their fingers in their air and pretend oh, they didn't yeah. hear anything. Yeah, and that's just rotten. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a real problem though. I work on 20 year old software. I can't imagine working on 25 year old software like this. It would be just horrible. I'm sure it is confusing because they they've had how many maybe hundreds of different developers over the years tinkering oh, yeah. with the script and the the code <laughs> and a whole I knew bunch somebody of little add-ons you know i knew somebody who was actually coding on the eq when it first came out and he left the he left sony because he said it was just a spaghetti code and it was just oh, driving yeah. Him crazy yeah it was before they had like a uh, anything like any coding tools and so everything is basically just handcrafted hand coded line by line i don't know if that makes sense or not but that's right. what i was told oh I'm, yeah i'm sure what they could do is feed the entire code or script into an ai um so i'll pull the one on the right and have the ai sort of 
know the language, you know, make sure to teach it whatever coding language was used for the game and then have the AI go through and say, well, this is completely unnecessary or this and and then just have like a like a alpha test server where that refined code is running and have a few people invite them to play over there for free or whatever <coughs> and see and they might be able to like fix a lot of stuff because AI will find stuff that you can you can't because nobody's gonna sit there for days weeks months potentially years you know going through line by line trying to find out where somebody forgot to put a comma or something or close a bracket oh, some of that old software it just matters whether or not it has a space yeah because <laughs> there was no intuitive uh, UI for writing it Uh, Tomato said, I play on Viniki since the increase level, the 100, they started to hit like trucks. Okay, I'll pull the left one because it looks like you pacified the right one. Incoming. Feel free to move up a little to me. Um, yeah, when people say, you know, that EQ has lost the challenge of its original game, I just think, like, well, you haven't tried to play it 100 plus yet. Right. Yeah, I mean, all these people are mostly complaining about, oh, because of Defiant Armor and this and that. It's like, you know, Defiant Armor was just sort of to uh, let players that are completely new to the game uh, sort of catch up to people that are at the high end. Um, that's what it was for. They're expecting more people to want to play in, in the high end. <coughs> uh, and, and yeah, so they're just not, they're just not playing that content. And maybe they can't, and they know they can't, because it's, it's too bonkers. There are new AI coding tools uh, getting better every day. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I'm sure chat GPT or whatever could like run through this in just a day or something and find a bunch of things that could maybe fix stuff. I think there's a, <clears throat> a pretty good chance that this next EQ game that they're bouncing around is going to have an AI component to it. Right. I might pause for five seconds to give the uh, cleric mercenary time to recast uh, certitude or something. My, cause my cleric buff is gone. Come on, cleric. You're on balanced mode. Buff me. Where the hell are you? Are you going to buff me? He's still on color because so he lags way back. I think it's fine. Okay, it cast it. Yeah, gallantry. I got it. Sorry. <laughs> I just had to get close, I guess. Sir. Incoming. Pulling. Oh yeah, hey Fez, check the loot, thank you. Hopefully it's not too late, it's been a while. Spool of fishing twine. Huh? There's nothing exciting to me. I know, but if you see anything that's not being looted or rolled, do let me know. Um... That, that was Hippie really giving us a message that we were supposed to be telling him to do that. Right. <laughs> that was bad. 
I know you're trolling us, hippie. If we sound like we're paying attention to the loot, he's going to ask us to be the loot master. That would be nice. <laughs> Are you the loot master? Are you the gatekeeper? There is no Z uh, Dana, only Zul. Anyway, that's enough of my Ghostbusters quotes. I still haven't seen the new Ghostbusters movie. Please say nothing about it. I'm dying to see it. I've just been lazy. It's like the only things I do are work, or make videos, or play EQ. It's like nothing else matters. But I do want to see that movie. If you want to pacify that one on the right, I'll grab the left one. Incoming. in that one? Uh, in what? That Ghostbusters? Original, uh, yeah, like the, the one that just came out this like it, past month or whatever. Um, I believe a bunch of them are in it or maybe all of them. It's similar to Afterlife. It's got the same cast. Uh, you know, including that, that one kid from Stranger Things. And uh, I believe Dan Aykroyd's going to be in it, or, or is. Uh, Harold Ramis. No, yeah. why? Really? Oh, uh, he passed away. Oh, okay. Yeah. His son might be in it. Pull in. See, it looks to be far enough from the other one. Yep. Oh, he's just way up high. We're just breezing through this. Yeah, we're doing really well so far. I'm real happy. Especially considering the, the Saturday group on occasion had a hard time with some of these although it might not have been necessarily these it might have been the uh, the more difficult uh, ones yeah the uh, air elemental was not attacking there at all <laughs> yeah, well, the, uh, on that on this mob, no, he wasn't. I was in my lost in my spellbook. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> but on the last one, he was about fifty feet up in the air. Yeah, you can click off to levitate on him. It helps. Or if he has the uh, flight of eagles, I think I could pull that skeleton to the far left there alone. Yep. I'm not worried if we get an ad or two. Or six. <clears throat> I think two would be enough to juggle. Anything more than that would start causing a problem. Our enchanter could get killed. I mean, I can feign death, so... Probably wouldn't be a full party wipe. See, uh, I, I, I'm of the opinion that we should test our enchanter's limits. Unless I try to be a hero and go down with the ship. As you feign death. 
Right. Yeah, yeah, we did, uh, hippies, right? We had problems of scaling when we had higher level tunes joining us. Hippie, they may have fixed that. Um, and I'm bringing that up because I was here with uh, Fez and Ginger. I'm pulling this one. Incoming. Um, and Fez is 102. But Ginger was only like level 80 at the time or so. 80, 82, something like that. And she was able to join Fez. Uh, I think at like 80, 81 in the Gribbles to get XP. Um, and that seemed to pull the, the, the level down because the monsters were level like 99. They weren't level 102, the same as Fez. So now that... there's a I know that there used to be a way that you could also like go ahead and get the mission go in and then DZ Incoming. add the high level maybe I mean maybe they they patched that too I don't know because that sounds yeah, like I'm it could sure. be used a bit as an exploit yeah I was going to try it with the uh, into the temple B to see if like I could go in with like the 75 group a uh, 75 group and have a then add a 100 and see if you could just do the turn in and finish it real right quick. to be easier but like you say that may be an exploit incoming to One's locked down. Oh, there's the uh, axe in the loot window. We can end the mission. Okay, nice. So I'll loot it right away and then click on it. And then maybe someone <laughs> just needs to go and uh, um, break in the mess. Go and uh, hail the guy. Especially if somebody still has lessons running. <laughs> Eight minutes. Yep, we're done. So if somebody wants to go and heal Gribbles, we can... Well, we don't even need to finish this. Like, we don't even... No, we don't need... We don't get no XP. Might as well just... Yeah, we get hardly zero XP for killing these things. Um, so we might as well... Might as well I'll just run to the exit. There's a shiny here to the left. Grab it. I've got all of the collectibles. Congrats. Congrats. I can enjoy the overseer system. Yeah, I mean, I got 10% for that. So, nice. So, we want to do a uh, house? Because we got our, our two Gribbles in. And that other mission. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure, we can do that. Um, now that I'm 85, I can immediately have a teleport to the grounds. Nice. All right, so we can all remove that mission. Uh, maybe our kindly druid would be awesome and teleport us to be okay. And I think this is a great time for us to take a short break. Um, 
So I'm going to AFK while we get ported to Plane of Knowledge. So I will be right back. And what do we tap to get out of this mission? Uh, just uh, Alt Q, and then you could just hit, r click on the mission and hit Remove. I did that, but what do I tap to the guy because I don't have a chat leave. window? Leave. Oh yeah, leave, leave, okay. yeah. Or just Pick gate up. the POK and meet us there. Be right All back. Right, tap leave. Okay. Yeah, I think what I might have done is uh, turned off the, or turned on the close on escape or on feature or for that window. So every time I hit escape, it just goes away. <laughs> yeah, because now it's back. So I'm going to go and see if I can make that go away now. Yeah, escape to close was set on. Port incoming. Sorry about that. Okay. So we're headed to Pirat the Dream. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, look at this. Everybody's weapons or whatever is broken right now for me. Oof. So they definitely didn't fix it. Are you back from your AFK already? Yep. Oh, I hadn't even taken mine. <laughs> yeah, feel free. You know, we don't have to we don't have to rush. You need to wash your hands. Yeah, I'll I'll be right back. Got to powder powder my nose. Powder your nose. Grab a drink. Grab a snack. I guess we can all meet at the uh, stone. The uh, Agak stone. I wonder I might I might actually run up to the library uh, to see if I have a, a, a new tome because at 86 right I think I get one possibly I have all my spells bought up to level 90. I was kind of hopeful. Must be nice, Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> I've been selling the XS Steins. They used to go for big money. They only go for like 70 to 90,000 now. But at first, I was, I was raking in money. Still, that's good. I mean, hey, any anything that you could do to legit earn uh, plat in the game is is great. Oh wow, I still have tomes from like 
level 70s that I, I guess I hadn't memorized. Oopsie. Yeah, I'm bad at melee. I'm I'm on the ball with any caster as far as getting the spells. But I'm terrible at getting all my tomes. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. No problem. I'm taking advantage of the extra time to buy my tomes, which there are a drunken monkey style. Oh my god, that is perfect for me. That is going to be my favorite move. Drunken monkey style. That is, that is, that is just me. <laughs> All right. I'm heading down and I'll see you guys on the evil side over by the Agak stone. Gen X and Tash are already in Fear Out the Dream. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we can all zone in then. I'm coming up on it. I linked an item in chat, Fez. Is that anything you can use? I'll take a look. Um, Rogue said, Ding42, congrats, Rogue. Thank you. Only 18 more to go. And I can eat a death touch. <laughs> nice. Uh, Billy Lamb going to pick up brother from work. Check y'all tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night, Billy. And I'm going to be right back one more time. I'm sorry. It's just someone's putzing around my door. Careful. I didn't I, I just looked through the peephole. I didn't see anyone. So I'm not I'm not about to open it. <laughs> Alright, I guess we all head to house. Um unless you want me to teleport us directly to the grounds. Uh I'm already at the tool door. Oh, okay. So we'll just be do that way. Yeah, we'll just Oh, uh, rot dog! Oop. Somebody's already aggroing a me. rot dog. Okay, that was me. I'll just zone in. Okay, yeah. I was gonna see if uh, what's his face was up. The Here, nice thing can... is, if I do aggro something, I could just feign death. <laughs> I can zone back out and call you guys too. Yeah, it's it's cool. We're all running there. Well, I'm fluttering there. <laughs> well, there's your rot dog. Watch out, his rot dogs are there, and they see invis. Oh, they're still there. Yeah, yeah. Well, he wasn't at the door, but when I was on my way to the door, I saw one of them. All right. I guess I'll click in. Yeah, it's messed up. Like, my, my day job is really dangerous. Um, a, a, another passenger just told me the other day, 
about that they heard another uh, driver got shot somewhere. I'm just like, y'all need to stop telling me this. And then one of you guys told me about one recently. And I'm just like, ah, it's just gonna, it's just gonna happen one day, isn't it? I think I'd rather die in a car accident than to get shot, honestly. I'm going to remove perfected in viz and talk to this guy. All right, I got all those. Pretty sure I got them all. all right. How many are there? Five. Um. Yeah. Yeah. There's a guy here. I feel feels like he must be lonely. Oh no, he's got a friend. Because the guild name is just me and myself. Oh wow, his buddy got uh killed. If I was a cleric, I'd give him a res, but I'm not. So. He's only 78. He's brave. Oof. Okay, he's back. his friend is back up already. Yeah. Oh, I made it up to the house without getting aggro. That's rare. So what are we wanting to do? Head to, towards the grounds? What do you suggest? Um, Last time we were in here, we could like seem to get every single name that we came across, that pops. Well, we already have everything um, here. Yeah. Like we all, we all have our tier one. So maybe I'd say the grounds or, or Urid's burning, Uridin's burning. And honestly, I'm kind of more partial to Urid's burning, Uridin's burning. It's kind of dull, but I did have a lot of luck with getting a lot of named there. Um, I'm pulling this spider, by the way. Um, and so I did manage to get some tier two. I mean, we're kind of at the point where we're going to want to start getting some tier three. But I yeah. don't think we could do a tier three zone yet. Afterward, as, sorry. Afterward, after we're done, I uh, since I dinged eighty five, I'm going to be able to like put new augments in all of my TBM gear, and I'll be interested to see how it compares to the tier two and three. Right. Yeah, I still need a tier two for my arms on the monk. Uh, other than that, I'm in full tier two except for the arms. Uh, but I got some tier two like jewelry also. Like these, this ring and earrings and mask and stuff. I think we can scoot by those guards if we don't get too close without aggroing them. Since the name does not up my bother, you know. Pulling this guy. Probably invis there if we wanted to. Yeah, I don't know. There's. Uh, I think there's some things that we'll see through in Viz, but I'm not sure. If you want, we could try it after we kill this guy. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with a perfected group in Viz, if you like. 
Arrogance Burning is going to give me a workout. That bloodied her nose last time we jumped in there. It'll be fun. Everybody's just going to have to be very careful right there by the zone in because there's all those guys on those boats and we don't want to aggro them. Okay, so we're all invised. We'll try to go through invis. Um, here it's burning. It's right here on the left. Okay. Hopefully we do it. And again, as soon as we zone, we're going to be right by the boats, pretty much. So please be careful. When 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 we go out, stay to the wall. And stay on the right. Things. Stay invisible, yeah. But there's some undead. Uh, so we want to make sure. Yeah, there's all these skeletons right here. They could see you. Like, right here. So just go along this wall. Hug the wall. And then we can pass them and not die. And then we can keep on going. Just follow me. And it's so far, it seems pretty safe. Is anyone else here other than us? There's eight players in the zone, so that means we're not alone. Okay, we made it. You know, definitely didn't want to like wipe right away. There are some quests right here if anybody wants to get them. Um I might I might try. I'm gonna click off clicking off in Viz. You can hail this guy for rats. Um and then there's this one over here up on the left. Uh Ilithi. I think her name is about releasing spirits and then this one over here uh, Lonnie or something I don't know if we'll actually complete them or not but I figure grab them while we're here there's this guy here too there's one more guy here I don't know what his quest is about but it's join the fight or whatever uh faz my time is up i'm gonna have to get going okay wait where was okay, the you guys yeah have a good evening yeah so they're right. right yeah there was one more here um uh so i will switch to a tank mercenary and then if one of you uh can be a get a cleric mercenary out once Gen X uh exits the group. Oh uh, yeah. So you... So we'll play I have cleric. I've got a source of nightmares combating death and extermination. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, let me see. I'll just filter my stuff by zone. Okay, Uridin's burning. Extermination. Uh, possessing a tome. Source of nightmares. On the rebound. Those are the ones I have. Four? Yeah. Okay. I got them all. Uh, combating death. Do you have that one too? So, and I again, mean. I went to Leone. Um, so the two up on this platform, Leone and uh, Illithi. So those two. Leone offers two quests, I think. Offers two of them. So maybe that's what was one of them from. And the exterminator for the rats. And then that one guy in the corridor okay so we're all set 
I think so. All right. Uh, everybody's behind me. This is going to be rough. At least three on this pole, probably. So you yeah, want to pull well, them back here, maybe, so we can have room to mez and maneuver. Um. Yeah, I can pull. I can pull some back here. Because it's it's going to be kind of tough. I'm just get one. worried we might accidentally aggro these deep water knight initiates. No, they they're these uh, guys are good. Nice. The these knights over there are fine. Um, I'll try to just grab this one. Oh crap! I got three. Can we can we mess them? Oh crap! Did I die? I'm sorry. I'm dead. Maybe this is more than we can chew. I don't know. But my tank is still alive. Hopefully they're active. I think we'll be okay. Is the tank still there? Is the tank fighting? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Maybe I, I could have, like, feigned death. But I thought we could probably handle three. Well, we can. Right, I, I just can't. Uh, Hippie said lurker mode for a bit. No problem. Uh, that one, one down. See, I'm so good at feigning death. You guys think I'm really dead, but I'm just pretending. All right, breaking. I even managed to make my health bar look like it was completely down. I'm just that good at being a monk. I'm, I'm the best monk. <laughs> Adam, hello and take care. How are you keeping going to see Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon uh, light show at the uh, planetarium soon? Okay, cool. Enjoy that. Okay, I'm not hearing anything now. Is fight still going on? Yeah, yeah, we're doing we're doing all right. All right. Well, that cleric didn't do me any favors. <laughs> I had him set on reactive too, just because I knew it was going to be dicey. Ready? Yeah. All right, you'll get a res after this one. Yeah, these guys are yellow, so kudos for us for not wiping. Hopefully we'll be able to do it. If not, you know, it's okay. I mean, only one death so far, so that's nice. I just thought of something too. Maybe it would be a good idea for us to uh, run back a little bit, like right here, and set up a campfire. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So destroying the old one, setting up a new one, and there we go. Yeah, because this, this corridor is safe, so as long as nobody pulls that far back. Alright, um, 
Well, at least this guy's a swinging single. Oh, did the tank die also? It looked like the tank did die. Oh. What do you know? Interesting. Let's see if I have any um, AAs that I can give the Merc. It might help a little bit. Health, melee, resist. Yeah, I do have some. I always go full in on uh, melee defense and health uh, as soon as I can. Okay, that was weird. I was able to just instantly unsuspend them. Maybe they didn't die. It could have just been a bug. Maybe. Okay, well, I'd say let's move up. Because these guys spawn really quick. There's one up already. So come on, just help me kill this. Just don't get up too close to the ones up there. Uh, getting getting past this wall of skellies is going to be something we have to do kind of quickly. Otherwise, they just keep popping and popping and we'll never get to where the names are. Where is... Um Why does my mercenary look like they're not attacking? You have auto assist on. I don't know if you can um, pacify these guys up up top here. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna pacify. What do you want? The left or the right pacify? I wonder if we can invis on dead. Oh, wait, I can't pacify these. You cannot pacify them? No, the, your target looks unaffected, it says. You're really, really low. I can barely hear you at all, Joby One. Can you hear me now? Okay, it's a little better. Yeah, please have your mic close or something. I want to be able to hear the enchanter most of all. So How let's go. Now? Okay, much better. Thank you. Uh, the Zen of Games said happy Friday. We do have to move soon because this, oh, this whole area is repopping. Well, I can't pacify these, so we might get five. That's I don't scary. think we'll get five. Um, their range is fairly small. So let me let me see if I can pull. Okay, we got two. That's good. I'll try to kill those and just watch out for spawns maybe I don't know I'd say stay to the left of me if you can and as soon as these two die let's all go up the ramp and then stay to the left by that column up there as soon as these two drop because down here might spawn And then we want to kill those two on the right and then run down that tunnel. Okay, I do see my mercenary doing something, so they are attacking. Thankfully.
Oh crap, it's starting to repop. Let's not attack it though. Let's try to all start moving up to the top here. Hopefully it just doesn't aggro. Just stay to the very edge, the left edge of this ramp when you move up. See, I'm like right here and they still haven't jumped me. Is everybody up? I'm up. I wonder if we could sneak past these guys. And just run into the tunnel. You go first. Okay. Oh, crap. Yo. We got them all. I'm dead. I'm sorry. I just warped this out. Good call. <laughs> okay, you, uh... He evac. evac Okay, I'll respawn and I will, uh... Meet you guys at the fire. I, I, I don't, you don't realize how tricky that area is to get in there until, um, you're lower level and having to get through there. Uh, Eternal Rogue said, it's beer 30. Yes, it is. All right, I'm clicking on my thing. Oh, you know, I might not even have that thing yet. Let me look. Well, we can all click on the symbol and go to the campfire, right? Yeah, yeah, you can. Um, I just don't have one, so I'm going to run and grab one. <laughs> oh, you got to be visible. Yeah, you got to be visible, too, to click it. So, anybody watching, if you don't know, this is where you get the fellowship from fellow Billy. Get the fellowship registration insignia right here. And that's all you need to be able to uh, gate to your fellowship fire. Just right click on it. And poof, you're magically whisked away to wherever your you and your group made your campfire for the fellowship. Free ride to POK, yeah. As as they all called it, what, Ranger Gate, I believe it was. Well, as long as you're the one taking all the deaths, I'm okay with all the risks we've been doing. Right. I forgot to scribe all these tomes. So I would say that this one would be easier when we have somebody who can do Invis Undead and Pacify Undead. Well, the Enchanter can. Oh, so, well, not if they're unaffected, though. No, yeah, I mean, they're just one level too high, I think, for my... No, uh, the Enchanter can cast Invis Undead. Ah. That's what I said. <laughs> um... <laughs> So maybe I will take it for the team. Cast Invis Undead against me. I'll go up and con them. And if I can get through, just Invis Undead everybody and we'll just we'll just run through them, run past them. Or we can go back in the house. Okay, and, you're Invis Undead. Okay. We can go back in the house and try somewhere else. Okay, I'm indifferent, it looks like. Um, so let me try to run past them all. Oh, you know what? Let me grab my corpse.
And I'm gonna go get myself a res real quick. While we're in the safe area. Okay. That's smart. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well grab it now. I'm gonna hop on my mount for a sec. Is it just in the tunnel that we're trying to get to? Yeah, we just want to get past the tunnel. So I think we can invis undead and and get past all those skeletons. Everybody's just going to have to be very careful and make sure that their invis undead doesn't drop. And if it does, well, I guess just die and we'll drag you uh, to the other side of that skeleton wall. Or how about just give me invis undead and I'll run past and call everybody over. You could do that, but it might not be safe. Like, you might, you know. Um, so maybe one of us should go with you. Everyone should be invis undead now. Okay. Well, yeah, we, so we should just watch, just pay attention to that buff. And we should all be able to run through. Just be careful at the other end of the tunnel. There's going to be stuff that can see you. That will be not undead, so. I'm here. Do you want me to call? Who wants a call? Okay. Yeah, we're on the other side. So everybody made it? Yep. All right. We'll start with uh, the golem, I guess. Just for the hell of it. So we did it. It ended up being so much easier than we thought. Just had to go and viz versus undead. So let's remember that for the future. Work harder, not smarter. Work smarter, not harder. Oh wait. Yeah. Okay, come to me. Let's just fight this guy where he is. Hopefully we'll have enough DPS to survive through here. I was here with Gingerfist, but I had Fez doing all the heavy lifting. Gingerfist pretty much just stood there to absorb the XP. Okay. There isn't a whole lot of good stuff up here, so I'm going to say stay along this col column, and then let's go down this way, and then cut past this thingy, and this way. Everybody make it? Not this dead civilian. Okay. Um, I don't know if we can pacify these. Unaffected. Okay, so maybe Mez the left one, I'll pull the right one. And there may be a path there. So, oh, wait, watch out. I guess there's a path around us now. Got one. Rut row. Well, it's good that we got the path there now rather than in the middle of the fight. Rut row, Raggy. It won't let me cast on him. Let me try again. No, he thinks he's in the wall, I think. Okay, maybe uh, I'll, I'll pass. Never mind, I was crouching. crouching. Okay. That's funny. So maybe they really did fix that thing, because, yeah, targeting and, and casting hasn't been much of an issue. Okay. okay so I'll mess I'll the left up. one. Okay, I'll pull the right one. 
Go for it. Nice. We have water. Uh oh. Can you mess it? Trying. Got it. Awesome. Good job. I don't know what that meant about uh, about Eternal Rogue saying you say tomato, I say tomato, but I'm assuming that was about the whole Ranger Gate thing and the free ride to POK. Okay, gonna break Mez on this guy. Good job on this uh, Merc, at least holding uh, aggro. Wow, I'm doing pretty good on the DPS end. Yeah, you're killing it. I had a max hit for 36k. How is that even possible? Ginger fists. Ginger fist, fist of fury. Okay, here's where things are gonna get, get crazy. There's a named right off the bat, maggot scalp. So I'm I'm thinking pull up to here. We might get an ad, so just be ready. But he is alone at the moment, so I'm gonna grab him. Ready? Ready. Oh, one one thing real quick. Um, gonna set myself to puller. Okay. Incoming. Ah, oh, snap. Never mind. Let's kill this jerk first. You big floppy bony jerk. We were about to grab the named. But I guess it's better he come now than when the named is up here. Grando said, sometimes I miss EQ, but I'm professionally retired. I don't think you're spelling that word right. That means his wife is paying him to not play. Oh. I don't know if that's true. Okay, incoming. Watch out for ads. Named. Red name. You're going down, Mr. Maggot Scalp. Hey, I just thought of that. Do I have a bunny on my monk? I'm not sure.
Yeah, I do not have a bunny. I'm going to have to grab one later. Oh, candy's dropped. Sweet. Oh, two of them. Head and... Uh... No, it's not a candy. It's a... It looks like a candy, but it's an og. Oh my gosh, it looks very nice. A very nice, 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 nice. yeah, yeah incredible that. og. Very amazing for casters. Honestly, I might already have it too. So, uh, hit need if you think you need it. Also, as far as the uh, the candy goes, I don't need that one. So. But nice, nice, nice og. There's another one that's similar to this that's even better for melee types because it has like agility and dex or something. So glad we came here and we got that right away. That's awesome. Well, if you oh, die, crap. Fez, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Right. So there's another named here. Um, I'm going to try to pull it alone. If I die, I die, whatever. There's oh, two... Pull it back up if you can, so I yeah. have room to target. Okay, guys, back up all the way over here by the doorway. Not too far because those in the doorway might spawn again, but close to there. I'm going to try to grab this uh, named. It's coming alone so far. I had to use mend. And I died. Wow. <laughs> so close. Come on. Damn it. That was a ripoff. I should not have died there. I did a good job. <laughs> I got them alone. My my Merc is doing good job at tanking. I mean on the bright side. Playing this character instead of the Beast Lord, I don't have to worry about not having mana now. You'll also get quicker on that FD trigger. That takes practice. Or consistency, I should say. The what? It, or consistency, like, like, I'm, like when I'm pulling in the raids, it's like, I haven't played a monk in a long time, and it's like, yeah, you gotta warm up your trigger finger, as it were. I don't think that had anything to do with trigger finger. It, they, they, they almost one shot at me, pretty much. I mean, it was, it was harsh. It was a harsh ass uh, defeat. So there's a cape here for rogues. Awesome! How awesome is that? Freaking rogues. Damn it. And no candies? Liquid Nightmare, which I don't think anybody needs. But I'll set it to roll in case anybody wants. I don't need the stupid uh, hat. I don't know if we need skeletons. The finger bones. Or whatever. Does anybody need finger bones? I don't know. Maybe I'll set mine to greed just in case we might have had a quest. But yeah, greed on the cape if you want. Oh, and I won the AUG. Fantastic. Thanks, guys. Congrats. Congrats. Okay. Um... Hey, give me uh, any kind of... We still have our druid, right? Yeah. 
Can I have the greater wolf form? Because it has Dina, right? And we have some of our higher level guildies here. Uh, I'm assuming here to help out. Thank you. And then I'll click off the wolf form and I'll keep uh, the Dina. Because, you know, why would I hide all of this? <laughs> Um, so just, yeah, waiting for the buff. Hold on a sec. Five seconds. All right. Yeah, no problem. I mean, I still got resurrection sickness for two minutes, but I figured I don't care. I'm going to probably die ten more times tonight. So, um, let's, uh. Did I, did I not get? Everybody else became a wolf. Why did I not become a wolf? Do you have it blocked? I don't think so. Do you have a uh, different... Uh, did it's Maybe so Brutal long. Ferocity is doing it? Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, well, never mind then. All right, ready? I could turn you into a werewolf or a scarecrow or something, if that would help. It's cool. So we're going to get at least two, a golem and a book. Are we still fighting up here on the platform? Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, if you guys want to come down, but it's probably safer up there. Yeah, pull up here. Okay. At least for now. Oh, we got three. I'm not dead yet. You know what? Maybe you should, could you probably have an AA that's a defensive that you might be able to pop before a pull. I'm sure I probably also have some skills that I have that I don't know how to use yet. But that's kind of why I wanted to start playing this character so I can learn. Um, okay, there's something going on here. Where is the next one? The book. Okay. Breaking Mez on the book. Dreamwalker's Synergy strikes your opponent with three flying kicks. Okay, next one. Breaking Mez. Is Phantasmal Apparition, um, I wonder if that is like the, uh, the thing that can sort of, uh, what do you call it? Works like Pacify, because it says it distracts them. I don't know. I think that's a taunt. I don't know. What does it say? It just says distracts. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Okay, I don't think it did anything. Pulling a skeleton. I'd say maybe let's go down after this one. Otherwise, if it takes too long to pull... Um, like I said, everything respawns pretty quickly here. Just wandering around Crescent Reach, giving tempt to everyone. I offered up to Virtue in Guild, but no one responded. 
Okay, let's come down. And we're going to go along the left here. I'm going to pull this skeleton on the right. Actually, I'm going to pull that one over there on the left. So we might get an ad. We might get the guy that's inside. Yep, we did. Good job on the mess. That's my job. Well, wow, excellent. Uh oh. Careful. I'd say keep a rune up on yourself too, it might be safe. Yeah, I have two AA runes. I just alternate between. <laughs> Grandma said, I remember when Fez used to call me excellent. Them were the days. Uh, did I ever call you excellent, Grando? Ever? Okay, follow me in here. Be careful not to aggro that thing. Because there's names that pop in here. It might get messy. We might all wipe. Keep your finger on the trigger for uh, evac, I guess. And there is a named up in here. Uh, Kana, the heart slicer. Unfortunately, there's some very crappy mobs here too that are going to make it difficult. To single pull. So, okay. Oh, there's a named right here, too. Hopefully, we get this named alone. Uh, if not, I'm sorry. I'm pulling. Hopefully they come alone. And they came alone! Holy crap, that was a miracle. The the two behind the bar probably just didn't aggro because they were behind the bar. And that's an, a very effective wall. Oh no, we got ads though. Careful. The heretic commander is not missing. Oh wait, a, now he is. Yeah. Okay, so... We'll grab the uh, commander. I'll, I'll let you slow the commander first. How's that? That might help us with killing it. Hold on, I slowed the other one. In okay. second charge. Okay, well, I can I can break the mess on the other one that slowed then. Both slowed. Okay, both slowed. Okay, we'll do Commander then. Whoa! He ran all the way back here. I'm glad the rats don't aggro, because they're always wandering around. Although they do aggro on occasion. Just watch out for using AoEs. These table and chairs block my line of sight too. Right. Weird. Yeah, just about everything. This this whole building is just awful. But you get like two named in here. And the chance of them dropping tier two stuff. 
Okay, so let's see what we have. He's right here, Mezd. Wait, wh what, what was the what dropped off that last named? I don't even know. It looks like it was already looted. Wasn't it the rogue rogue? Or did we get it named after that? I'm not sure. There's a nightmare shard too. I think we might have a quest for that. Is it, or is it the head? No, the head. I'm not sure. Because we killed the one name that was up by the bar. Yeah, retrieve a nightmare shard is a source of nightmares. So there's these two there behind the counter. And we want to kill them before we try to go for that named back there. Um, so I guess I will try to pull them. We're going to get both of them. So just be ready. Careful, 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 because the right in the next door room is, is the named. So don't get too uh too close to it. Because when the, that named comes, they're gonna bring two others as well, so The Hierophant, I can't mess for some reason. The what? He slowed the uh, Hierophant behind the bar. Okay. I slowed. The slow is almost as good. I, This bard is helping us out a lot, I'm sure. Who is Mistress Kissy, like in our guild? Is it Kissy or Kasi? Or, or I think it's just Kissy. I, I'm so bad at pronouncing names. I've been scared. I almost feel like we should just concentrate on keeping this one room clear because it's going to probably be enough. Um, so straight ahead is the other named, but maybe we should try to pacify the other thing that's going to come with it. Because there's two more in that room. See, that? there's that one. She just came and went. Well, stick on the named and I'll see what I can do with the other ones. Okay. All right. Just be careful because they hit like trucks. They're not going to be hitting me. They'll be hitting you. Well, they'll be hitting the tank mostly, hopefully. Because I, I could just stop, drop, and roll. If that other one comes up, you might be able to uh, target it and, and hit it with a, a mez. Okay, I'm pulling it since it's it's pulled. Yikes. Amazement, try not to die. Ah! Yeah. Uh, so says the monk who I died. Think the room, I think the room popped on us. Oh yeah, that five's hard because it my mez bounces a lot on these reds. Well, three. Do I stay or did we wipe? 
evac. We evac. Okay, I'll respawn so the uh, tank doesn't die too. If they're still alive, that is. Wafflesaurus. Yes, people still play. How is there anybody that's even surprised? They still actively make content for the game. Just because you left the game does not mean everybody else left the game. There's also new people rediscovering, not just rediscovering the game, but discovering the game for the first time and starting to play it. Any game that's still active has a chance of gaining new players. I always find that to be funny. Hey, people still play chess, and guess how old that is. Right, right. I heard these. there are these people who play Dungeons and Dragons still. Right, and that came out in the 70s. So I'm using my, uh, my campfire thingy to go back. So, and in addition, like, they were at the the video that they put out from that conference, they said that they still have 90, they have about 90,000 active subscribers, which will go up considerably when the TLP releases. Right. And not and, just that, not just retail, but all the people still playing on um, project servers with new project servers going up all the time. Like that recent one, that's like what isn't it pop locked like planes of power locked Quar quarm or quarm yeah the... so dude that's just kind of a lame silly thing to say i'm sorry well he may have been saying that with excitement you know maybe maybe yeah maybe excited and enthusiastic that people are still playing so yeah i just you know i always ex sometimes i expect the worst uh, cause, cause we had a few of those. Uh, so at least we know that we can get through again by just going in Viz Undead. And we can get past all that mess. So once we get buffed up, we'll just in Viz Undead. We'll walk past these skeletons. And, uh, hopefully we can get back to where we were. It's met up first. Amazement's low on mana. Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, I still got more XP than I lost. I'm still level 86. Uh, and I started at 85, so I haven't lost the, that level yet. We can fix that. Let's try not to. My pacify only goes up to level 85, and these guys are 86 and up. That's the problem. I'm sorry, what? My pacify only goes up to level 85, and these guys are 86 and higher. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. Uh, that is incorrect, actually, about the uh, everything is on P99 or TLP. Uh, because there are several ser several YouTubers that do content uh, on Throne of Eye a lot, so including myself. Yeah, I probably do have an edge on live content. S yeah, soloing classic zones. I do see that too. Um, but yeah, we're 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 trying to i do a little bit of everything I, I you know my videos i'll do soloing mostly but as far as the, all the live streams are usually with other people uh
Um, it, Eternal Rogue said, can you call a hero me to where you are with the bodies in a safe place? I can water sprinkler everyone. Um, no, we're not wanting to get out, though. Yeah, and the Merc will give us a res. Yeah, we, we have a Cleric Mercenary. Don't worry about that. Uh, and even if so, after we're done for the night, we can go into the guild lobby and just get free corpse summons and, uh, you know, uh, get rezzed. Okay, casting <laughs> Invis to Undead on everyone, one at a time, of course. Okay. Just, I guess, run through the tunnel and stop at the end, maybe? Because there's... Yeah. Or keep going. Yeah, and just be careful, you know, don't accidentally get yourself killed. All right. As soon as, as soon as you get it, just run on in. Right, and don't worry, there's someone there and already fighting the skeletons on purpose. Okay. Yeah, there's a bone golem out here, so just be careful if your invis drops. But I'm waiting at the end of the tunnel. And we might be able to scoot past these guys also, because they're undead. So is everybody here? Here. Yep, all four of us? Aye. Okay. Um, I can go first as the guinea pig, because I can hopefully uh, just drop dead. So yeah, just follow me. We'll do the same thing, cross over the water thingy here. Nice. Invis uh, undead for the win. Okay. I guess we'll pull up here again until we clear out the bottom. Ready? Ready. Okay, pulling a skeleton. <laughs> oh yeah, no, thank you, Eternal Rogue. Honestly, thank you very much. Um, no, I, I, I meant to say... I gained more XP than I lost. Uh, so, yes, very, very happy still with her, even though I died a bunch of times. I gained way more than I lost. And considering how hard this zone is, I think we're doing pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna try to yank that one since it's alone. Incoming. Ah, oh, crap. My uh, mercenaries. We're on the stairs fighting this one, so I forgot to reset my merc as, uh, or myself as puller. So my merc ran down. Just be careful, there's that golem right over there. And your Tosh is right there on the, uh,. There's um, one standing right at the base of the stairs around the corner. I missed it. Okay. Good job. Yeah, I didn't even see him. I saw we had another one. I just didn't see where. I'm okay. floating above him. Um, I'm setting my mark to passive for a second. 
So don't send anything once I break Mez. Let me try to pull him out of this corner. I'm going to try to bring him up here. Is he coming? to pull Presto back. Pull Presto. Oh, yeah. Presto. Put Presto on uh, greater hold if you have to for a sec. Is it coming? Oh, maybe oh, other pets. Oh, he's attacking the, my healer. <sighs> All right, I'll let's just kill it there. Because we definitely don't want that cleric to be dead. Sorry, guys, I tried. But again, Eternal Rogue, no, thank you very much for the offer. I didn't come up, want to come off as like not wanting at all, uh, but we we try to do it on our own if we can. There's going to be times when you offer and I'll say, yes, yes, let's do that. Thank you. Uh, but for now, uh, I think it's going okay. Uh, so we'll just try to keep going. Come stay down here then? Uh, yeah, we could stay down here. I don't know if you can pacify that uh, book dervish. No, but I can try mezzing him. Okay. I will pull the uh, the big guy. Oh, we got three though. Good job, but we're all still alive so far. Somebody's um, on the book dervish, I think. Eternal Rogue, I didn't take it ne negatively. I'm just being nice to people. No, thank you. Again, thank you very much. I mean, I've had a few people take some of my things negatively. And so I'm a little, I try, I'm trying to be more careful. I definitely don't want to upset anybody not looking to hurt anyone's feelings or anything uh so j i'm just trying to be mindful and if i ever do if you're watching now and a week or two from now you say something in chat and i disagree or whatever don't worry i disagree with people all the time if i make a face at what you say again don't worry <laughs> i do that all the time in the end we're all just human <laughs> Please never take anything personally. We're all just here to have a good time. And I definitely never mean anything, n nothing crappy by it to anyone. And I, I feel like there's been a couple occasions where I, uh, I said something or reacted a certain way to someone's suggestion or idea. Uh, and remember, some of the times when I'm here... I'm enjoying a nice adult beverage. And that's, that means I might say things I don't normally say. Hey, Fez, did you ever get that YOLO mouse that biggins the mouse? The, the what mouse? It's called YOLO mouse. It's on Steam. It makes your mouse way bigger so you don't lose it in particles and oh, stuff. Oh, right. I remember you telling me about that. I did not do that yet. Um, I think I'm going to pull the skeleton out by the library door just because he's going to be the easiest one to get right now. Um, yeah, I didn't download... I, I'm not sure if I downloaded it or not, but I definitely have not yet installed it I think if I got it it would probably appear on my screen in the video right 
or the live streams? Uh, I don't know. I've never tried it. Uh, but if you run it, it'll be in your system tray in the lower right corner. You'll see it as a pink arrow if you're running it. And, and you can't not miss it. It's huge. It makes your right. mouse... It does seem like a good idea, honestly. <laughs> I lose track of my mouse all the time. Okay, we're probably going to get two, maybe three, uh, because there's that skeleton across from the other one over there. Oh, wow. He's came alone. That's a miracle. <laughs> Eternal Rogue said, I stopped leveling my ranger and got on the cleric to buff and help people. So I would... I was extending the offer to you. Well, thank you very much. I do really do appreciate it. I appreciate any any kindness of any, you know. I, I appreciate the people that even just come to watch. Even if some folks do say trolly stuff. You're still giving us views. So thank you. You know? I was like, not everyone's going to like everybody else's stuff. There's plenty of foods out there that people might have made, and maybe they worked hard at it, that I think is gross. So again, so we're definitely getting two this time. Be ready. Oh my goodness, just the one. How is this happening? You're higher level, so their aggro rate just sort of drop, I think, if, as you level up. I don't know, man. I'm only 86, though. I'm like one level up from the rest of the group. Looking to knock you down to our level, but you're just not dying as much. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? Technically, you're dying a lot more than the Beast Lord did, but right. You but look I, like you're having a lot more fun, though. But we we didn't we didn't uh, come here with the Beast Lord. I think the Beast Lord would be dying just as much uh, if they were in this zone. All right, our our druid friend here, our ra bard, sorry, bard friend, pulled this for us. Hey, I bet that's why you were getting single pulls. Maybe it could be that the bard is pacifying things. Well, that's turning it into a factory. That's nice. Right. Uh, Wafflesaurus breaking into this zone was rough at eighty-five. Uh, because the mobs level, the mob, wait, what? Sorry, having a hard time reading, uh, and pay attention to the game at the same time. Okay, I'm on this guy. Because of mob levels versus player levels, mob density, obstructive views, yeah. Honestly, this is a tough zone, um, and things do spawn really quick. Like, even at level 95 or 90, you can have a hard time. Uh, Michael King said, hey, 07. I'm not sure what that meant. Uh, Eternal Rogue said, you're the reason I actually started playing again. I recovered my account several months ago. I only started playing because of you. Ah, oh, shucks. Well, thank you very much, Breaking Mez. I'm as the commander, so go on him. Yeah. Okay, I'm on the commander. Um, DJ Bird said, It was the whiskey talking, not me. Exactly. Although, in this case, it's not necessarily whiskey, it's just Guinness. I don't really touch whiskey much. Not since that incident. Um, Michael King said, I am... I am pissed... Pissed? Pissed? On Jin and watching you on Matrix... On Matrix 2. 
Uh, hold pulls a bit. My uh, okay, we got cleric right is here. low on uh, mana, and so I put moved him back to balanced. Okay, yeah, put him on balanced. Uh, and we've got this thing here that needs a slow. Uh, Scottish slang. Okay. Well, hello. Uh, yeah, I think I think you said Scotland before, um, Michael. I forget where everybody's from, though. I hope you can forgive me for that. So let's take out this guy at least. Um. While he's here. Just, just having the uh, the cleric mercenary on balanced is already gonna do wonders to their mana. But we should hold pulse for a little bit. You know what would come in handy right now? A beast lord with paragon. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. I like the monk. Yeah, I do too. I just <laughs> I like making characters with silly names. Okay. Um well, uh, hold off on pulls there for a minute, Mistress Kiss- mis Minstrel- Mistress. Minstrel Kissy. We're trying to let our cleric get some, uh, mana back. Uh, Eternal Rogue, I'm from Fort Wayne, Indiana, the birthplace of boredom. Yeah, Indiana's like right next door. How is it that everybody else's bard is so, like, powerful? And my bard somber is just not. <laughs> All right, taking a short breather. Some people have affinity for different classes. I tried playing a uh, Shadow Knight multiple times. I just couldn't get it right. I was too lame at it. And some classes I just really, just, you know gravitate to right okay i'm gonna be linking some stuff in group uh it's uh collectibles so tell me if you can use any of these i've got four of the hands and just ones of the others I don't have any of those. Wait, who doesn't? Amazement. Okay. I will give you those. I still got three hands, though. If anyone needs. There's a joke in there somewhere on what you're going to do with your third hand. Right. Pull. I mean, a part, a part of me was going to say, if does anybody need the hand job? Uh, oh, here's another one, too. There's a torch. So I'll link that in group chat. So if anybody need that. I don't have that either. All right. And there you go. Oh, what is that? A weapon? What? 
Oh, someone just gave me something. I I I'm sorry. They they I, I thought that was you. I gave them the thing. Um uh, they can have it. Okay. Brutal enforcer. I might actually have better. Honestly. Um yeah, see, my current weapon is better than the Brutal Enforcer by quite a bit as far as the ratio goes. Because I have this AUG in there. So if you want it back, let me know. And let me see what was the other thing they gave me, the Spiked Rage. Um, now, that might be better than my other one. Yes, yes. The other, the Spiked Rage is way better than the Pain Maker that I was using in the other hand. So I'm going to be using the Spiked, or, yeah, Spiked Rage. Thank you very much. If you want the Brutal Enforcer back, just let me know. Who are the other people streaming tonight so I can give them a follow? Um, shout out if you have a channel, guys. Oh, I'm, uh, Zorgo has a channel. So follow Zorgo, guys. All right, I guess we can all move up now. We'll try to get back in here. Ooh, there's the other corpses. Um, wait, wait, hold off on reses, though, because we got two right now. We'll try to clear some of these and take out that name, and then maybe we will have a short moment where we can get reses uh, after we take out the name. Is that cool with everyone? Sounds good. Yep. Like I said, worst case scenario... If anybody is missing a res, we can all go to uh, the guild lobby. Okay, actually... Uh, there's one here, best. This spiked rage is better than my other one, so I'm switching, I'm switching hands on them. I'm making the spiked rage my main... Okay, attacking it. When someone says they started playing EverQuest again because of me, I'm both, like, happy and feeling really, really guilty at the same time. Why is that? Well, because I might be taking them away from their life, their friends, their loved ones. They might... <laughs> They might not be, uh, you know, paying nearly as much attention to other things because they're spending so much time on EQ. I mean, at least that's that's my situation. I I spend more time on EQ than anything else. All right, so I'm gonna try to pull this named again, and uh, just get ready to mez stuff if. Wait, something's offering me a res. Not yet, huh? Yeah, like, let's hold off on the reses. It's probably the mercenary. Incoming. I'm slowing. They aren't visible, apparently. Okay. Well, if we could get them all slowed, we might survive. Uh, the named, you know, of course can't be messed, but maybe the others can. Uh, but slow them all is fine.
I've rooted the two ads if you want to pull the name away. Okay. Um, I'll make my Merc passive for a sec. No, it says uh, the target cannot be mesmerized. Well, it, won't, it won't move, so I'm just going to keep going. Because we, we want this thing to be dead as soon as we can get it dead. And it looks like we're doing okay. Even the cleric is doing fine on mana at the moment. By the look of it. Having it set to balanced really makes a difference. Ah, oh, crap. But we did get one more ad here. So I'm on the ad. So just keep those other two uh, slowed and stuff for now. Um... Um, oh no, shit. And we're on different mobs. Oh, Blade is rooted. Yeah, if everyone wants to be on this one. But it's okay. I mean, we want to kill them all anyway. I'm not stressed. I mean, I might be, but. Not, I'm not caring if we're killing two at the same time. Uh, Eternal Rogue said, Fez, don't feel guilty. I'm disabled veteran and found EverQuest right after I was discharged. It gave me a place to escape uh, and a reason to continue existing. I mean, that's kind of how I see EverQuest. It's an escape and I don't know. There's times where I just don't want to be out there. I just don't want to be out in the world. And while I'm not a veteran and I will never claim to be, um, I have my own issues, <laughs> and sometimes it's nice to just not have to, uh, deal. Do you, do you guys, okay, it looks like we're okay with that other one. Um, so thank you. Kissy's helping. She's able to mez these ones that I can't. Right. Thank you very much, Kissy. I appreciate you. And you're coming back when you, uh, during a time that you weren't feeling useful again, is a positive for me. I get it. I get it. See, that's why, you know, a lot of times I play some of these characters that might not be my favorite class. Um, but I feel like it, it's going to be the most useful for the group and stuff. Uh, so I get wanting to feel useful. I desperately always want to feel useful. So I also try to make useful videos, like guides and tutorials and things like that anytime i find out anything new about everquest which i still find out new stuff all the time i try to make a video about it because i think hey if I, this is the first time i'm hearing about it and i've been playing pretty steady for the whole 25 years with a few breaks you know here and there but still playing then there's got to be someone else like myself who hasn't heard about this so I always try to put it out there in, in videos and even short videos on occasion. Candy and nice og in the loop. Yeah. How'd we get a rat? I don't know. They do attack sometimes. It could be like anytime there's a any any kind of AoE. But we do need him for one of the quests. Yeah. And you should check out the augment that's in the loot window. Yeah, it's one of the nice ones. Oh, and we did get another... Uh, we got a chest. Tier 2 chest drop. And we've got this other fabulous augment with 26 to AC, 105 hit points, 105 mana, 105 endurance. I'd this. say definitely great for a caster. Yeah, six charisma, heroic yep. charisma. Great for an enchanter. Okay, well, I'm drooling uh, over that one. I'm on this guy. I think I already have it. 
Because, like I said, when I was here with Fez uh, to get Ginger to where she was, yeah, see, I can't even greet on it, so enjoy, you guys. Congrats. I'll agree on it. You can eat on it. And, you know, if we get any extra tier twos, just see if anybody else in the guild needs it, I guess, if you want. This Blade Master back here is missed. Awesome. Yeah, I'm just happy that the the channel's kind of uh, started to take off a bit and people are enjoying it. I definitely never expected there to be like a community developing from it. I just figured everybody would treat it like any other YouTube channel where they're all like swearing at each other in the comments and someone says something really inappropriate. You know, <laughs> I just... I don't know. I just always thought it was going to be like a giant mess. I never hoped for it to be. Okay, I guess I'm going to take that res now. Because I think we're clear, right? So yeah, I'm taking the no mess. skeleton here. Okay, so maybe I'll wait till the skeleton is dead. So after this kill, like, hopefully we can all accept the res and we'll just huddle up in the corner and hope nothing comes and eats us. I just took mine. Okay. Oops. thought that thing was dead. So I guess if uh, Tosh can toss you a, a brain candy. Sorry about that. No, no, it's fine. Especially because we actually have a tank mercenary. Okay, we, it looks like we might have something else on deck. Okay, yeah, there is one over here, so I guess I'm going to kill it. I'm, I'm keeping my... My res request up. Hoping to get it once uh, we cleared the area. I don't know, Kissy, if you're listening to the to the stream, uh, like, don't pull anything for us at the moment because we're trying to accept the reses. <laughs> Eternal Rogue said, let me get a few more beers and I'll get you some of them in appropriate comments. That's pretty funny, man. Uh, Wafflesaurus said, I usually summon and res corpses at the end of the night. Yeah, but you know, we're probably going to die a lot more. Okay, I'm taking this res now. Okay, I got it. Haste incoming and mind candy again, just in case. Okay. Okay, triggering my poison again. I'm gonna sit down for a minute to try to get some of my endurance.
By the way, guys, do any of you need uh here I'll link it in group. Does anybody need one of these? Cause I've got three sitting here that are unexpanded. I've got two of the solutions on me. Uh yeah. Yeah, I I would probably take one. Okay. Where are you at? Um, I'm sitting in the corner. Staying in the corner. Winslow, Arizona. Okay. Now remember you need to get that book. The uh transcendent uh bags. Do you want all three? Um uh, does anybody else want them? I give you all three. I can always make more. I craft them. So you'll need to get one more of these Abu Kars solution. You're also going to need the book in order to be able to uh, combine those two to unexpand it. Because those are like 12 slotted bags with no weight reduction. But you combine it in a, a tailoring kit with that solution to make them 20 slotted and 100% weight reduction. Um, That's awesome. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Okay, I'm going to pull this guy. Do you have a pet yet, Amazement? I do. Okay, cool. So yeah, feel free to just sit back and send your pet. I don't know. Let me, uh, actually, let me also set myself to puller. So that... Mark doesn't run all the way up towards it. Okay, pulling. Yeah, if you need more, just let me know. I can make those, and I can also make the extra planar trade satchels. Uh, I'll link. I'll share a link in group. I don't have extras, but you could see at least in group what it is. And those are 32 slotted, 100% weight reduction, but only trade skill items go in there. So if it's not trade skill related, it won't go in. So At some it, point, I'm going to start trade skilling, and I, I'll, I'm sure those will come in, almost be a necessity. Right. So my gnomish is maxed out. I'm going to switch to halfling. Teach everybody halfling. Okay. Um... Tosh, ready for some enchanter magic here? Because we're going to pull these guys in the back of the bar, I guess. All right, sure, go for it. I can probably uh, mez the blade master, so you can go for the heretic. Okay. The other one. Okay, I'm on the heretic. Kesey said three names up. Blade Master Mask. Awesome. Good job. Thank you. Uh, Wafflesaurus, best thing about crafted bags is being able to dye them. I've never dyed a single bag. I'm gonna have to mess with that. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to see. I've never dyed one. The only reason why I have a purple bag is this one came that way. Okay, it's almost 10.30, so I guess we're going to have to call it soon-ish. But considering I think everybody in the group got at least one level tonight, I think it was pretty good. 
Yeah, I've gotten about 50% overall, I think. Yeah. And then we got a few uh, named. Okay, break in the mess. I don't know if you can dye the uh, extra planar trade satchels, even though they're crafted. I've never seen anybody dye them, but that doesn't mean it's not possible. I know you can dye the old, uh, you know, just the backpacks made with high quality bear pelts but I didn't didn't know about the other ones excuse me okay there's two back here I'm gonna pull the commander because you know named might spawn so if we can get these dead before the others incoming That would be great. Well, I can't mess up, but I'm slowing both. Okay, that works. Let's slow. Oh crap, we got a third. But they are lower cons, so they might be messable. He's messed. Awesome. Yeah, the silly dabbler showed up for no reason. Uh, Waffle Source said Iku Tradis has the dye recipes. Some of them look nice. Orange, blue, my favorites. Well, for Ginger Fist, you know I would have to dye all my bags orange, right? Add. Add, yep. Slowing add. Thank you. Uh, Brandon Leonard said, wave. Hello, Brandon. Oh yeah, also, um, remember, because we're 85 now, uh, if you look at my screen, um, my enchanter can make jewelry like this, like the compartmented uh, temperite trio pendant, and they can make something just like this, but an earring, a veil for the face, uh, th this neck item, uh, wrist, or rings, so... If it looks like something that would be an upgrade for you, let me know. I can I can have it done. Just get in the Discord under request items, and you could say uh, that you want a compartmented tempor temporite trio, either ring or bracer or pendant, whatever earrings. I don't know if you guys can actually see it because of... Sort of, kind of. I, I know that it was probably partially behind me. Okay, I moved it up now. So Somebody's big fat head was in the way. Right, right, I moved it up. So I'm trying to keep it out of the way and... Uh,
but I think it's got decent stats. Okay, it's just a heretic brute up now over there. Incoming. Yeah, it's pretty much to the point where we can barely keep this one room good. So maybe. I think maybe that's what we should just do. GC has Vindel the Ripper here. Oh, wow. Nice. Named, yeah. Well, we'll go after it as soon as we kill the others. The name is slow. I can't miss it. Okay. We'll go after the named as soon as this thing's dead. Yeah, these things have a lot of hit points. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Kissy. So we're on uh, the named Vindel the Ripper now. Um, Waffle Source said, looks like you cannot die the extra planar trade satchels. Yeah, I figured they probably can't be. Thanks for checking that up, uh, looking that up though. I appreciate you. And this name's about to go down. And let's check what they dropped. Looks like the robe again, or the cloak. Yeah, the rogue ro uh, cloak. But there is a, a candy here for the legs. So if anybody needs that, and looks like we do have aggro of something somewhere. Yep, this guy in the corner. So we got tier two drop for the legs. Honestly, sometimes I get more excited over the uh, the the tier two and tier three drops from the armor and stuff than I do some of the magic items since I can't use them. But everybody can use. The armor upgrades. That makes sense. All right, gonna pull this brute. Might get an ad. Oh Jesus! Oh. Dang it! Don't die! Oh, good job. I hope our friend is going to be safe. Watch out, uh, Kissy. There's four. Wow, Blubber Belly almost didn't make it. Right. You saved yourself more than anything. Right. Pretty much. I went down and came back up and said, see y'all later. And you right. Just have to come with me. No, that's fine. I mean, it's almost time for us to go anyway, honestly. So. Um. I don't know if you guys want to... Oh, this is probably a good stopping spot. Yeah. So, Kissy, if you're watching... Let me say in guild chat.
Okay, I had to put a guild message there. Um, we could try to go back through the house to, to leave to get a little more XP. Sure. Why not? So click the door here. You you did that guild message in Halfling, so I don't know if uh, Kissy can read it. Oh, oh, let me fix. I'll redo it as soon as we zone. <laughs> I mean, I I'm, I said it in in voice too, so if they're listening. Um. Okay, let me change to Elvish language. Uh, Elvish. Okay, I said that. Um, changing language again back to... What was I going to do? Halfling? Yeah, that's what you were on. Okay. Yeah, that way everybody could learn some halfling. Your halfling's atrocious, by the way. Yeah, oh, it's, it's bad. But that's the great thing. You're in a group, and you can, like... You can improve in your language too. That's a, that's how his halfling ended up getting named Scroto. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> okay. Um. We can pull this guy, this bone crafter. Can can craft some bone. Incoming the bone crafter. Yeah, I mean, we could play it safe and just stay in the house where things are blue and they can be, um, mezzed, but... You know, then the audience would have less excitement. And they've been really awesome about watching us do gribbles week and... week in and week out. Oh, <laughs> on both the, um, Friday and the Sunday <laughs> streams. And no one's complained once. Like, oh, not Gribbles again. You guys are getting dull. No, not a single complaint. Old Rusty is up. Hey, hey, hey. So jump to the left here. We'll try to pull Rusty. This uh, house is like easy mode compared to Erden's Burning. Yeah, it really is. Yep. Pulling Rusty. Yeah, your it's burning is, is kind of tough. I can go back to sleep now. Right. And again, thank you so much, Kissy, if you're watching, for all the help tonight. I think we might not have survived without your help. So I do want to make sure you know we appreciate you. So I would say that third part of Broken Mirror is about the same difficulty level as, as what we just did. So I, I think we should go unlock that mirror next time. It'll take probably about 45 minutes. Tier 1 legs dropped. Well, I, I agree with that because once you do that, then you unlock um, the TBM armor, right? Yep, that you can get the augments and you can buy them off of the bazaar. So, like, if you end up like, man, my charm is twenty levels out of date, you could easily get like that's never going to be the case again. There's a druid collar. You might already have it though. I have it. Okay, it's pretty common. Well, if next week, and I'm getting kind of close to 86, if next week we do like a Gribbles, I'll probably ding. Maybe other people will get to 86 too, and that'll help. Well, it'll actually make it worse. The what do you mean? Are, the higher level you are on the TBM stuff, the harder it is. So, like, the, the missions are easier at the lower, like, it scales down to level 75, it's far easier at 75 than it is at 105. Oh, okay, so here's the plan. Everyone get to 99.9%, .9 and then we think it's the first mob we kill in that zone, right? <laughs> right. Maybe. 
Well, I think it's it may work like Gribbles. It's I think the XP comes at the end for the most part. But it's also nice, like when they have times when they have uh, increased rare mob spawns. If you have TBM missions unlocked, they've got some they've got some really nice stuff that drops off of uh, the rare mobs. Oh no! Um, I I said, uh, you see, uh, I I think we're done. Uh, sorry for the bad pull. I hope you're okay. And Kissy said, "LOL, nope." Oh man, I'm sorry. Anything? I don't know if there's anything we could do for you. Might the reading halfling? Oh, wait. Let me go back to Elvish. Oops. All right. I guess we could start heading out. Um... Maybe we'll see something to kill here in the... Oh, wait! Is there anything we could do turn-ins to these people? The the guy at the gate. I know we could do him. Oh, okay. Kissy didn't die, so that's good. I don't feel quite as horrible. Kissy must actually know how to play a rogue, unlike Somber Dirge. <laughs> Bard, you mean? See any uh, named on tracking in this uh, up near? I the... just looked, and only the basement. Mops. Okay. Well, we might get a couple of uh, quest completed from just killing stuff uh, from the toad here. I think he's a toad, isn't he? Yeah, the frog guy. Uh, MMO Hippie said sorry for the extended lurker mode. Had to do dishes and got a phone call uh we actually i don't did we have a full party wipe i don't think we did we yeah. had a few evacs no no hippie there were zero deaths and <laughs> i don't recommend you w look at the video because it's really boring it was just by the numbers <laughs> that's pretty funny Okay, I did not get any quest completed from him. <sighs> I got one. Okay, cool. Do we want to uh, run all the way back and see if... Uh, one of the bouncers is up. Sure. All right. Well, I think this stream went pretty good, you know? 
Yeah, we had fun. We got way more XP than we lost. I died like 20 times and I'm actually cool with it because it was it was a fun stream, man. Uh it wasn't it definitely wasn't too easy. And anybody nope. that tries to say different, it's like, yeah, you see how many times I died? No way. No enchanter death, so I consider that a win. Right. Yeah, because I mean you're 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 basically the linchpin to keep everyone else safe. So I'm trying to keep an eye out for because there is a bouncer that spawns over in this area along the water. I just don't remember exactly at which I see fearful specter bouncer heard. Okay, so it's not Bouncer Herd. Um, he's the placeholder for the name. It's it's a, a like a, Flurb. a fuller, a longer name. I wonder if the uh, if Yodel is up or whatever the hell his name is. So I'm gonna run up along here to see if he's up. Nope, just a lizard man watcher. Okay. I guess we'll just go and zone. But yeah, I think that went well. And again, Kissy, if you're watching, thank you. For the help, I really appreciate that. I never expect anybody to come and and do that much to help out without getting XP and stuff. But that was awesome. Uh, so yeah, I'm clicking on the book. Uh, so I guess that's it, folks. Um, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, for anybody that's new, we are here every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And we usually go on till like 10.30, 11 o'clock or whatever. Whatever we can stay up for. And uh, we are also here every Wednesday. Wednesdays are raid days. So we are currently level locked at level 60. Doing raids in Kunark. And um, if you're interested in just doing raids for fun... Uh, at, you know, at level 60, feel free to join our guild. We are Chamber of Chaos, and we are on Throne of Eye, and we're pretty friendly. Um, even the trolls are friendly, so. I guess that's about it. Um, Bear said, good night, Fez, and everyone. See you tomorrow night. Uh, Chuck Holloway said he's right. The higher you are, the harder it is. Uh, okay. Talking about TBM. Yeah, yeah. Um, I. So maybe we'll try to do that next week or something. If yeah, you let's think do we it. could do it and survive. Yeah, we can. I mean, we survived Uridin's burning. Um,. And I thought that was pretty crazy. Are the mobs in that TBM mission your level or higher level? They scale to your level, so they'll be white and yellow with a smattering of reds. Okay, well, I'm good with yellows. I can mess them and stuff. Hey guys, take a look at guild chat. Uh, Kissy has linked a few things. Um, if anybody is interested in, just let uh, let them know. There's uh, a tier two drop for hands and a bunch of gear. A tier two drop for wrist. 
If you've got a tier two drop for arms, I would really, I could use that because that's the only uh, tier two that I'm, oops, that I'm missing is my arms. So, uh, but I will probably try to go back there throughout the week with Fez to try to get arms for myself. I saw some for sale in the bazaar, but they wanted 200,000 plat and I could just get it myself. I would, I'm fine with waiting. And you know, if I end up finding tier three first, I'll just skip the tier two and make tier three because I'm getting close to the level where I can get and wear tier three. Um... So next week, would it help if we got high-level player buffs on us before we did that mission? Wouldn't hurt. I don't, I don't think it's going to be that bad. Um, I don't think it's going to be any worse than what we did tonight. Right. And I'll probably uh, play a tank, too, and that'll help a little bit. Potentially, who knows? Mage seems to be <laughs> just as strong as most of my tanks. Um, y'all left the named up in zone. I ran and killed it before I left. Um, I mean, if anybody wants to toss buffs at us, they're welcome to. But I, I think I'm going to go, guys, because I have to AFK for a second anyway. Again, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Uh, please consider doing a, a like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Or I'd love a follow or subscribe on Twitch. Um, and thanks, everybody. Let's look at how many we have here near the end. 16 watching on YouTube and two left watching on Twitch. Um, but again, thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate you. Appreciate your time. Uh, check out the videos on YouTube, too. And uh, we'll see you all tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, where it's our level 99 to 100, 101, something like that group. So, yeah, tomorrow should be fun. Good night, everybody. later.